Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie. I am a mom of eight and we homeschool here in Missouri. Today I'm just going to walk you through what I do in a typical day. So before I started recording this morning, I got up and got dressed and ready for the day and had some time in the Bible. Now I am outside just really enjoying watering our plants. I like puttering around in the garden. But when I got back inside, I found Jason and the boys hard at work. They are putting together a computer with some components we were given. So that was a little bit unexpected this morning. I went ahead and started a big pot of oatmeal and slicing some apples for the kids. In the mornings, we start slowly. We don't jump right into our schoolwork. We use the time together as a family to do morning jobs and tidy up and just kind of get a slow start to our day. I can link our morning routine video for you if you'd like to check out more. Another thing I do is kind of help with the laundry situation. I am in charge of the laundry, of course, but everybody comes and helps out by putting a few things away each morning just so that mom isn't doing all the folding and putting away. It um, divides up the duty and makes it a lot easier. Many hands make light work. That's what I tell my kids a lot. I also pause what I'm doing here and there to help kids with whatever they need. Elsie's getting her hair up for the day. Samuel has questions. I'm so happy with our slow mornings because they give me a chance to connect with my kids instead of running around and feeling all frazzled. Part of my kids' morning routine is getting themselves dressed and ready and brushing their teeth. But of course, I have to dress the cute little baby girl. And also my two-year-old and sometimes my five-year-old need my help. I don't mind a bit. The goal of my morning routine for the kids is actually to teach them the good habits of taking care of themselves, of getting up in the morning and being productive with their day. These are things that if we keep practicing while they're children, hopefully they will be firmly in place as good habits when they are adults. Now, one thing that I did this morning is I had a big box of random game pieces and things that we found on the floor that we gathered up over the last week. And I dumped that out and I told the kids that they could have a penny an item for anything they put away. So they had a lot of fun doing that. Now, believe it or not, it is time for Lydia to take her morning nap. She woke up early with me this morning, so she's ready to sleep. At this time, I'm just going to quickly make my bed since I didn't get a chance to do that this morning. Lydia sleeps upstairs in our loft. If you haven't noticed already from watching this video, our house is really small. It's actually just 575 square feet. And I do have a video about why in the world we're living in such a small house with so many people right now. So I will link that video below so you can check it out if you're interested. Up in the loft, we have our king size bed and then we also have a crib for Lydia. After I get her down for a nap, I head back downstairs and I have some read aloud time with the kids. I have found that if I don't just stop whatever I'm doing and read to the kids each day. It just doesn't happen because there's always another thing for me to do. Today, we're just reading a fun, silly book. We're reading Pippi Longstocking, which even my little ones really enjoy. After we're done with that, Isabella went out to work on some animals, things that she's wanting to do, and the other kids got to work doing their copy work. This summer, we're not doing a lot of schoolwork, even though we are year-round homeschoolers. We have, um, we follow a delight directed learning style. And so there's not a lot of sit down work required in the summer, but I will be talking more about that in a future video. Today, they just need to do some copy work and a lesson of math. So you'll see that kind of going on in the background while I'm busy cleaning up from breakfast.
We are moving into the afternoon. It's actually time to make lunch. So last night we had Sloppy Joe's over sourdough biscuits. And I have leftover Sloppy Joe's out of the biscuits, but I thought that we could use the Sloppy Joe's to top um, potatoes. So I just loaded up my Instant Pot with potatoes. All I, I did was just wash them and I put in one cup of water down there underneath my trivet thing here, that rack that I put the potatoes on. And then I am going to just make sure my sealer is pushed back. And I'm going to do this for 12 minutes because I have a lot. Last time I did 11 and it just wasn't quite enough. So I'm going to do 12 minutes. That's it. Let it go. Kids have been, some of them have been working on schoolwork. Bella is outside doing some animal things. Um, some kids are jumping in the pool right now. You don't want to jump in the pool? Is it too cold? Oh, fun. They're playing outside because um, they had a lot of energy. After doing all that writing, they were ready to get out and play, so I kicked them out. Now they're having fun. Let's see. I'm going to make this lunch. I'm going to finish putting away the laundry, the rest of the laundry that didn't get done this morning. And then I'm going to actually trade places with Jason. He's going to do lunch with the kids, and I'm going to do a little bit of computer work. So in addition to keeping up with this YouTube channel, I'm actually working on a big project that I will be unveiling for homeschooling moms who want to have a sense of community and encouragement. So I've been taking a little bit of time each day to work, just bite-sized chunks, and actually I get a lot done in those little 35, 45 minute times that I have. And so Jason has been so generous to help carve that time out for me each day. Once I'm done, I'm back in the house to help kids finish up things that they have questions with. So I'm helping Silas with some of his math that was um, kind of giving him a little bit of trouble. Some of my kids um, really like when I'm sitting by them while they work. They just like the, um, I guess, just knowing that mom is right there if they need to ask questions or just need a little bit of encouragement. Other of my children really just kind of like to go off by themselves and complete their work alone. That's the beauty of homeschooling, right? I'm going to do a little bit more of the kitchen cleanup, get the rest of the lunch things away and dishes washed. And then I am done with my housework for the afternoon and I'm going outside in the garden. We've been spending a lot of time in the garden and my girls are usually my willing helpers who are there with me. We're so excited to have a larger vegetable garden this year. Today we're just putting in um, some more little tomato plants that we were given. We already have three rows of tomato plants, but we were given six more plants and we just couldn't resist sticking them in the garden and seeing how they do. I'm also going to be moving over some flowers. So we had some sunflower seeds that were growing in a different place on the property and not doing too well. So Isabella and I decided just to dig them up and relocate them to our sunny garden and hopefully they will thrive here. While we are working in the garden, the other kids are just off enjoying life, playing, reading books. Leo likes to edit videos for his own YouTube channel, which I can link below if you're interested in seeing things from my 12 year old boy's perspective. We just really like to enjoy our evenings and our afternoons. <laughs> It has been very hot this week here in Missouri. It's been in the 90s all week and very humid, hot and muggy. So I don't work in the garden too long before I head back inside in the air conditioning to do some of my evening duties. I'm going to be starting dinner, but first I am feeding my sourdough starter. I actually have a system for my starter because I leave it out on the counter all the time. And so to keep it from getting too large, I pour off my discard and I keep it in the refrigerator until it's enough for a huge batch of pancakes, which is one of our favorite ways to use sourdough discard. So I'm just putting in the flour and the water, then I'm going to mix it up so that my starter is fed for the day. For dinner tonight, I am chopping up some leftover roast and I'm mixing that with rice and veggies for an easy one pot dinner. Everyone can make their bowls just the way they like it. We have chopped lettuce or sour cream or cheese. 
you can just mix it up and enjoy it. It's a very easy meal for a day when I've been doing a lot of work and outdoor time. I just want something simple. If you'd like to see an our evening routine, I will link that video below. Thank you so much for spending the day with me today. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day in your own homes and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.